From the towering peaks of the Andes to the lush depths of the Amazon, South America is a continent of unparalleled beauty and diversity. All right, guys, listen up. We're about to drop everything and jump headfirst into the land of the rising sun. We're talking sushi, samurai, and sensory overload in the best way possible. This isn't just a trip, it's an adventure through the soul of Japan. 50 must-see spots, from the neon-drenched streets of Tokyo to the serene temples of Kyoto, we're covering it all. So buckle up, smash that subscribe button, and get ready to explore the magic that is Japan. First stop, the beating heart of Japan, Tokyo. This city is a symphony of sound and color, a wild mix of ancient traditions and futuristic tech. We're hitting the ground running, diving into the dizzying energy of Shibuya Crossing, exploring the trendy Harajuku district, and maybe grabbing a bite of the freshest sushi you've ever tasted. Trading neon lights for tranquil gardens, we find ourselves in Kyoto. This city is a time capsule of ancient Japan, home to thousands of temples and shrines. We'll wander through bamboo forests, witness the grace of a geisha in Gion, and find a moment of peace in this bustling world. All right, people, Osaka. This isn't just another city in Japan, it's a freaking experience. Imagine the best street food you've ever had. Now multiply that by like a thousand. Takoyaki, okonomiyaki, you name it, Osaka's got it, and it's ridiculously good. Get ready to loosen your belt on this one, folks, because we're going deep into the heart of Osaka's culinary scene. Switching gears completely, we're heading north to Hokkaido, Japan's untamed wilderness. If you're an outdoorsy person, an adventurer, or just need a break from the city, this is your spot. Snow-capped mountains, crystal clear lakes, and more greenery than you can shake a stick at. Hokkaido is where you go to breathe, recharge, and reconnect with nature. Next stop, Nara. Picture this. You're strolling through a park, ancient temples surrounding you, and suddenly, bam! A deer walks up to you like, what's up? That's Nara, my friends, a place where history and nature coexist in perfect harmony. We're gonna dive deep into the temples, hang out with some friendly deer, and maybe, just maybe, find our inner peace. All right, guys, imagine this. You're standing at the base of a mountain so massive, so iconic, it's practically a religious experience just to look at it. That's Mount Fuji. Whether you're braving the climb to the top or just soaking in the view from afar, this is bucket list stuff. Trust me. Hiroshima. It's a city forever etched in history, but amidst the weight of the past, there's a powerful message of peace and a spirit of renewal that's impossible to ignore. The Peace Memorial Park and Museum are a must-see, a stark reminder of the importance of understanding and compassion. Okinawa. Think turquoise waters, pristine beaches, and a culture that's totally unique. This is island life on a whole other level. We're talking ancient castles, coral reefs teeming with life, and a pace of life that'll make you want to ditch the return ticket. Yo, what's up everybody, it's Ben. Kanazawa is like stepping back in time. We're talking perfectly preserved geisha and samurai districts. Imagine walking these streets where samurai once roamed. This place is dripping with history and tradition. You can feel it in the air. All right guys, buckle up because Sapporo in winter is next level. The Sapporo Snow Festival is insane. Massive ice sculptures, like something out of a dream. The detail, the scale, it's mind-blowing. We're talking millions of visitors from around the world coming to see this. Nagasaki is a city that will stay with you. 
The Peace Park and Glover Garden are powerful reminders of the past. But what's inspiring is the resilience of the people, rebuilding and creating a vibrant culture. You have to experience it to truly understand. All right, people, we're talking Fukuoka, the ramen capital of Japan. This isn't just some instant noodle situation. We're diving headfirst into steaming bowls of Hakata ramen. This is next level stuff, people. Silky smooth broth, thin noodles, and melt in your mouth pork belly. You gotta see this. Forget everything you think you know about temples because Nico is about to blow your mind. We're talking intricate carvings, vibrant colors, and a history so rich it'll give you chills. Plus, the surrounding national park, waterfalls, forests, it's like stepping into another world. Next up, Kamakura. Picture this, a giant bronze Buddha statue, chilling in the open air for centuries. It's humbling, it's inspiring, it's something you have to see to believe. And that's just the start. Kamakura is packed with temples, beaches, and a vibe that's impossible to resist. Yo Japan explorers, we're hitting Yokohama, a city with that killer combo big city vibes, killer waterfront views. First up, a walk along the water, feeling that ocean breeze, you know? Then we're diving into the ramen museum. Forget boring history museums, this place is all about slurping down the history of Japan's most iconic food. We're ditching the modern madness for a minute and jumping into rural Japan, hitting up Takayama. This place is like a time capsule, with these perfectly preserved streets, traditional houses, you can feel the history, you know? It's like walking onto a movie set, but real. All right, picture this. You're chilling in a steaming hot spring surrounded by mountains, and bam, Mount Fuji just pops out like a boss. That's Hakone. We're talking next level relaxation vibes here. Plus, the views will blow your mind. Insta-worthy for sure. All right, guys, picture this. A giant, vibrant red Tori gate seemingly floating on water. That's Miyajima for ya. This place is pure magic, especially at high tide when the gate looks like it's suspended in air. This is one for the gram, trust me. Yo, ever seen an active volcano up close? Kagoshima is your chance. We're talking Sakurajima, a beast of a volcano that's always putting on a show. Don't worry, it's totally safe. But hey, a little adrenaline never hurt anyone, right? Forget your cookie cutter castles, Matsumoto is a whole different vibe. This bad boy is black, sleek, and straight out of a samurai movie. We're talking epic moats, hidden rooms, and views that'll blow your mind. Get ready to unleash your inner ninja. You wouldn't expect to find world-class contemporary art installations on a remote island, but that's Naoshima for you. This place is like a pilgrimage for art lovers, and trust me, it's worth the journey. Get ready to have your mind blown wide open. Beppu is a geothermal wonderland. Forget your fancy spas. We're talking about natural hot springs, bubbling mud pools, and geysers shooting into the air. It's like a National Geographic documentary come to life. Don't forget your swimsuit. You won't want to miss a dip in these healing waters. Ishigaki is the definition of paradise. Imagine crystal clear turquoise waters, vibrant coral reefs teeming with life, and white sand beaches that stretch as far as the eye can see. Whether you're a seasoned diver or a snorkeling newbie, this place will take your breath away.
Deep in the heart of Japan, nestled among ancient cedar forests, lies something truly special. This is Ise, home to the Ise Grand Shrine, a place so sacred, it's been a pilgrimage site for centuries. They say this is where the soul of Japan resides. Let's go find out. Ever wondered what Japan looked like centuries ago? Shirakawa Go is a village frozen in time. We're talking about traditional Gasho Zukuri farmhouses, some over 250 years old. These steeply pitched roofs are something else, built to withstand the heaviest snowfalls. All right, food lovers, this one's for you. Kobe, the city that gave its name to the most famous beef in the world. And trust me, the hype is real. We're talking melt-in-your-mouth buttery goodness. Forget towering skyscrapers and neon lights for a second. We're headed to Totori, a place where time seems to slow down and the landscape stretches as far as the eye can see. Picture this, massive sand dunes sculpted by the wind, begging to be explored. Yeah, you heard that right, sand dunes in Japan. It's like stepping into another world. From the desert-like dunes of Totori, we find ourselves in the mountainous region of Nagano. This place is a haven for anyone who craves peace and adventure in equal measure. We're talking about ancient temples, like the incredible Zenkoji, radiating a sense of tranquility. And when the snow falls, Nagano transforms into a winter wonderland, perfect for hitting the slopes. Ever thought about embarking on a pilgrimage? Shikoku is calling, and trust me, this isn't your average stroll in the park. We're talking about a journey across an island, connecting 88 temples, each with its own unique energy. It's a physical challenge and a deeply spiritual experience. This is about connecting with something bigger than ourselves. Yo Japan explorers, we're diving into Hakodate. This place is bustling, especially the morning market. Imagine mountains of fresh seafood, guys. It's insane. Then we're stepping back in time at the Goryokaku Fort. This star-shaped fortress is like something out of a history book, and the view from above? Don't even get me started. Get ready for sensory overload because Aomori's Nabuta Matsuri is next level. Picture gigantic illuminated floats parading through the streets, accompanied by music and dancing. It's like a scene from a dream, a burst of energy and tradition you won't forget. Seriously, add this festival to your bucket list right now. Next up, Toyama, we're talking about the Tatayama Kurobi Alpine Route, a journey through the heart of the Japanese Alps. Think towering mountains, massive dams, and views that will make you question reality. This is nature on a whole other level, people. Get those cameras ready. Yo, what's up everybody, Ben here, back with another Japan adventure. This time we're ditching the mega cities and heading to Iwate Prefecture, where nature's the main event. Think epic coastlines, volcanic hot springs, and get this, a poetic rock formation that'll blow your mind. Let's go. Still buzzing from Iwate, we're off to Yamagata, a place where tradition runs deep. Imagine soaking in steaming hot springs, surrounded by snow-capped mountains, then exploring ancient temples that have stood for centuries. This is Japan like you've never seen it before. Fukushima. It's a place that's been through a lot, but its spirit is unbreakable. We're diving into samurai history at Aizu, a city that embodies strength and resilience. This chapter is all about overcoming challenges and finding hope in unexpected places. All right, people, we're diving deep into Japan now, heading to Niigata. 
This place is all about rice paddies that seem to stretch forever, reflecting the sky like a mirror. And you know what they make with all that rice? You got it, sake. Get ready to sip some of the smoothest, most delicious sake you've ever tasted. Trust me, it's an experience. Next up, we're off to Shimani, a place where history whispers in every corner. Get ready to be blown away by the Izumo Taisha Shrine, one of Japan's oldest and most important shrines. The architecture is mind-blowing, and the sense of peace you feel here is like nowhere else. This, my friends, is what you call a spiritual experience. Okayama is calling, and you know I can't resist a good garden. We're talking about Korakuen, one of the top three gardens in all of Japan. This place is a masterpiece of design. Ponds, hills, tea houses, all perfectly placed to create a sense of harmony. Take a deep breath and soak it all in, guys. This is how you find your zen. Deep in the heart of Wakayama lies Mount Koya, a place where spirituality hangs in the air as thick as the morning mist. This is where you come to get lost, to find yourself. We're talking ancient temples, towering cedars, a stillness that'll resonate in your soul long after you leave. Trust me, this is next level. Yamanashi isn't just about breathtaking views of Mount Fuji, though those are definitely a major perk. This place is about slowing down, savoring the moment. Picture yourself sipping on world-class wine, surrounded by vineyards bathed in golden light. Yeah, Japan knows how to do wine country. Get ready for some serious vitamin C, because Miyazaki is where Japan's coastline throws a party. We're talking dramatic cliffs, turquoise waters, and a laid-back vibe that'll instantly unwind you. This is the place to lose yourself in nature's beauty and just breathe. Yo, what's up everybody, it's Ben. We're more than 40 episodes deep into this Japan adventure and let me tell you, it just keeps getting better. Today, we're in Gunma Prefecture, home to Kusatsu Onsen. This isn't just any hot spring, guys. This is the hot spring. Imagine the perfect steaming bath surrounded by nature, just what the doctor ordered after weeks of exploring. And believe me, we've been doing some serious exploring. All right, new day, new adventure. We're in Saga Prefecture, a place I honestly didn't know much about before coming to Japan. Turns out, Saga is famous for its pottery. Like, seriously famous. We're talking about towns where every other building is a pottery workshop or a gallery. It's incredible to see these artisans keeping traditions alive. They even let me try the pottery wheel. Footage of that coming soon. Spoiler alert, it's a disaster. Okay, this one's a little crazy. We're in Oida Prefecture, checking out, wait for it, the Hells of Beppu. Now before you freak out, these aren't actual hells. They're these super hot, colorful springs that are too hot to bathe in, but man, are they a sight to see. Imagine boiling mud pits, blood red water, and steam erupting everywhere. It's like something out of a movie, but it's totally real. Guys, Chiba is one of those places that reminds you Japan is more than just neon lights and bullet trains. Imagine peaceful shrines like Narita-san Temple, surrounded by nature. It's about getting out of the city, clearing your head, and just taking in the simple beauty of the countryside. You know I love a good UNESCO World Heritage Site, and Tochigi delivers with Nikko. But listen, there's so much more here than just temples and shrines. Think hiking trails with incredible views, hidden waterfalls, and this sense of adventure around every corner. It's like stepping back in time. Gifu, man. This place is all about the Nagara River. We're talking traditional cormorant fishing. Yeah, you heard me right, birds fishing, which is like this ancient art form. It's mesmerizing. 
Plus, the food scene here is off the hook. Yo, what's up everybody, it's Ben. We're on location in Mi, Japan. We're about to step back in time and enter the secretive world of the ninja at the Igaryu Ninja Museum. Forget everything you think you know from the movies. This is the real deal. We're gonna see authentic weapons, secret houses, and learn how these silent assassins moved like shadows. All right, people, listen up. We're in Kagawa, the udon noodle heaven of Japan. This place takes their noodles seriously, and you know what? They've earned the right to. We're talking silky smooth noodles, flavorful broth, the perfect comfort food. Get ready to slurp down some of the best udon you've ever had. Last stop, but definitely not least, Shizuoka. This place is all about that green tea life. Rolling hills covered in tea plantations, the aroma of fresh tea in the air. We're gonna sip on some of the finest brews, learn about the tea ceremony, and just soak in the tranquility of this place. Trust me, you'll feel Zen AF. So that's it guys, 50 incredible destinations in Japan. This journey has been insane. From the neon lights of Tokyo to the peaceful temples of Kyoto, the delicious food, the rich culture, the friendly people, Japan, you've blown my mind. This trip was more than just checking off destinations. It was about experiencing a country that's so different, so unique, so full of life. If you're looking for an adventure, for something to shake up your world, Japan is calling your name. Get out there and Thanks for watching. Please subscribe by pressing button below.